G'day, welcome back. In this short video, I'm gonna give you a very quick run through of Tinkercad SimLab. It's a new feature that allows you to test the physics of your designs in Tinkercad. If you've used Tinkercad before, you know that you can just drag and drop different objects into your Tinkercad workspace. What's new now is that you can actually test how these objects interact in a physics environment. Click the apple up in the top right hand corner once you're happy with your design, and you can click the play button to see what happens. A few things happen, we've got a ball rolling, we've got these blocks that have moved, and I'll show you a little bit more about what's actually happening. Click on the pause button, reset. If you click on each of the objects you have in your space, you'll notice that they have a material, obviously a color, and different properties associated with those materials. You'll also notice the top right hand corner has an option that says make dynamic or make static. What that means is if you make it dynamic, if we click play, it'll fall over on itself because it's going to move, which is dynamic. However, we want any kind of physical, any kind of building object uh, to be static and anything that we want to move, we're gonna make dynamic. It already is dynamic, okay. Over here, another option, if you wanna make it a bit more tricky, uh, you can actually challenge yourself to make things not move by supporting them with shapes. So if we watch again, that'll stay still. And this is actually supported because I've put some blocks underneath it. Now you notice the blocks actually moved. So what you can also do is go back into your workspace, group objects, and you'll see that things work even better. Have a look, click on the play button. Oh, kind of worked a bit better, but you might want to adjust where you've placed these blocks. So just in summary, build things in Tinkercad, Go to the sim lab, check your materials, change the materials, see what kind of different friction and restitution values you can have, see how that affects your designs, and then make sure you are toggling the dynamic and static feature to check that it's going to work as intended. Finally, I'll just give you a hint on how I've found these pieces. If you go to the search button, click on channel, and Tinkercad communities are already created some very nice pieces that will get you started on your very first marble run. If you have any questions, add them to the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Good luck.